okay uh, so friends now we will be looking at different khoa based products preparation in the previous uh, video uh, a, a brief about khoa preparation was uh, provided now we will be looking at uh, the products preparation fine see so products preparation in this i'll be mainly dealing with barfi peda sorry barfi kalakand and milk cake these three are important ones that is why i'll be dealing with them okay and now see as such barfi obviously it is a generic name and there are different varieties of barfi are available fine such as plain barfi danedar barfi dooth barfi chocolate barfi it depends upon the additives that we are using fine and that is what uh, that different uh, de depending upon the additive we are using we can call it fine see uh, the main purpose of making this video is to enable the product preparation methodology that is what is important fine uh, see uh, for case of uh, in case of barfi preparation what we do ideally in the previous video i told about that why buffalo milk khoa is used for preparation of khoa based product khoa and khoa based products okay so in see barfi uh, we will be taking uh, buffalo milk containing ideally 6% fat and 9% snf then it is boiled usually the steam pressure kept is one is 1 to 1.5 kg per centimeter square or uh, it is usually uh, done in open pan fine now we get khoa out of it see usually and uh, this khoa we blend it with 30% sugar that is sugar is added at 30% and then we mix it and kneading see uh, why because we are uh, see already khoa is prepared in case if we are taking if in case if we are taking milk and see this procedure can be used can be initiated from here also from khoa also that we are taking khoa we are adding sugar into it and then kneading and usually the temperature is at 60 degree centigrade when we mix other ingredients see, this temperature is important so as to enable melting of sugar and its uniform distribution once it is done then we add additives whatever you feel like or you can also prepare plain barfi uh, the homogeneous mass is there then we remove it in greased tray greased tray means usually we add ghee this is this is because of the fact that milk contains uh, see ghee is milk fat and milk also contains milk fat so as to prevent adulteration type of thing that is why we usually smear it with ghee then we cool it and allow it to settle shape fine so this was because of and this was when we are preparing khoa uh, barfi out of khoa when we are preparing barfi from milk and then we start with buffalo milk then boil it fine the moment when uh, you remember that um, the consistency changes at 2.5 to 2.8 times concentration so at that time we add sugar we do not remove Uh, we do not uh, remove the content that is khoa from the kettle and then for preparing barfi we again transfer it back to the kettle no this is usually not done if barfi is to be prepared from the milk then we continue the pro operation in the same kettle uh, we do not remove the content after pat formation fine but uh, the point when consistency is achieved we add sugar at that time followed by kneading fine so the, the this is followed by the same protocol fine uh, now the other product is kalakand see kalakand it is uh, uh, a danedar khoa type uh, based upon danedar type of khoa fine it is it contains quite caramel uh, some amount of caramel flavor and has characteristic granular texture fine uh it is uh, see the granular structure is there and the body is quite weak body is quite weak means that it loosely you can easily break it fine uh, this is what is the body is loose and compact uh, see in this case also what do we do the difference is that while we are preparing milk cake after see the point when the milk starts to boil we add citric acid at 0.01 to 0.02 percent usually 0.02 percent of citric acid is added this is added of milk fine for example when we are taking 1 liter of milk fine then we will be adding 0.2 gram of citric acid fine now this citric acid is to be added in the form of a solution so solution so what we do in this case suppose 0.2 g of citric acid we have got that for 1 kg of milk we will be adding 0.2 g citric acid okay 
now what is to be done this 0.2 gram is to be add is to be transformed into 1% solution so how will we doing that we will be multiplying we will be taking 100 times water fine so 0.2 gram citric acid is there so we will be taking 20 grams of water mixing that 0.2 gram and then we add it to the milk okay so this is the procedure 0.2 gram citric acid is there we will be uh, adding it to 20 ml of water and then mixing it see ml gram for water is same because its density is 1 so we will be taking 0.2 gram citric acid mi mixing it with 20 ml of water and then this solution is then added into milk not citric acid is directly added okay uh, an important point is that when we add citric acid we do not find any type of coagulation although we are adding citric acid this is because of the fact that the amount of acid that we are adding is very less that is why no change in uh, in any form takes place fine we do not find you will not be able to differentiate whether the milk has been added with citric acid or not but we will observe the change within later stages okay see later stages with that i mean uh, the point when uh, the concentration uh, the consistency changes the protein become insoluble at that time you will find that the grains are quite larger okay so vigorous uh, so after acid addition vigorous stirring the same process continues and we add six to seven percentage of sugar okay then everything remains the same continuous stirring then transfer to free tray this is what uh, the only there are two differences first we add citric acid and second we in this case we add usually seven and sometimes we add eight percent of sugar not more than that okay six to eight percent we add slightly more amount of sugar say one to two percent more sugar in case of kalakan as compared to barfi so milk cake see in case of milk cake it is similar to that of kalakan however the difference is that we find that milk cake it has different shade at a different point when we go from one point to other we will find that it's the color intensity changes at one side it is white while the other side it will be dark brown oh this is what we call it milk cake okay see layer of white to light brown color from top to bottom with moist surface this will this is the characteristic feature of milk cake okay so this is the procedure for it we take milk we boil it see the same citric acid addition is there here also but the point is that here we add two times sugar that is 12 percent sugar is added in case of milk cake in case of kalakand we were adding only seven to eight percent but milk cake we will be adding 12 percent in two parts first we will be adding just after the citric acid then we continue to evaporate it and then when the uh, the second is similar to when the cons and when the consistency has changed fine the point when we were adding it burfi the same way here we also will be adding six percent sugar so total 12 percent sugar is added now other point comes is we go for aging or this is called a differential cooling fine see differential cooling it this means that we will not be cooling the content straight away we will be keeping it for some temperature differential means or differential cooling can also be said as different parts of the same product are cooled at different rates okay different parts of the same product are cooled at different rates so obviously those part which are held at high temperature for long time they will be darker in color and the product which is held for shorter duration at high temperature they will be lighter in color okay so this is how we get it so here aging is the aging uh, we also call it differential cooling once differential cooling is completed we cool it and we get the product the milk cake is there okay